I have been wearing DIY lash extensions for just shy of a year now and I know how easy it can be to get overwhelmed with all of the application tips and instructions out there. And so I am here today to simplify the process and make it easy for you regardless of your skill level or history and to do it without breaking the bank. So let's dig in. Hi and welcome to our channel. I'm Melissa and this is my sidekick Winnie. We're excited to share with you our tips and tricks for taking care of yourself and feeling your best. Join us each week as we discuss a variety of topics related to all things beauty and self-care. Now, let's get started on today's topic. Before I get too far in here, I want to suggest that you go back and watch part one of this series. In part one, I talked about the top three DIY lash extension brands out there and how I settled on the products that I'll be using today. So let's get started. The first product I'm going to be using today is Lashify's Bondage with Charcoal Flex. What I love about this product is that it's super, super easy to use, and it's also packed with ingredients that will help your lashes to grow. So you just take the micro mascara wand and you brush it into your lashes to lightly coat your lashes and glue. And then you're gonna let that dry for just a little bit, maybe about a minute or so. While the glue is drying, I wanna show you the lashes that I'm going to be using today. I got these lashes off of Amazon in three different lengths. The first length that I use is the 10 millimeter lashes. And these, I only use just one wispy right on the inside corner to make it so it's not like straight across all the same size. The second size that I'm gonna use is the 12 millimeter. And this size is about how long my natural lash actually is. So these are just gonna help add some volume into my lashes. And then the last one that I'm gonna use is a 14 millimeter. And these are slightly longer than my natural lash. And so these I'm just putting, you'll see as I go, but I'm just gonna put them like right in the center of my lid just to really open up my eyes. So by now the glue has dried and before I put my lashes on, I'm gonna do one more coat of glue. And this time I'm gonna focus mostly on doing it right on the lower part of my lashes, like right where they connect with my lid. And this is super tacky at this point. Um, it doesn't take very long to dry, so you don't wanna wait too long. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with the 10 millimeter lash. I'm gonna just gonna pick them up with some tweezers and I will take this and I'll put it on the inside corner of my eyes. And I wanna suggest that you don't take it all the way to the inside corner because the lashes there are just so short that there isn't gonna be enough for the extensions to actually grip onto the lash. And then the next one I'm gonna do is gonna be all 12 millimeters. So I'm gonna take a 12 millimeter one and I'm gonna put it on the outside. And I'm leaving this about one millimeter away from the waterline. And with the outside corner too, I really suggest you don't put it too far out because if it's too far out, it's just not gonna be able to really grip onto enough of your lashes to stay. And then for the middle section, I'm just gonna take two more segments and stick them up there. Remember to keep it about one millimeter away from the lash line because if it's too close to your lash line, it's gonna kind of irritate your eye. It's not gonna stick as well and they're gonna come off sooner. So do it about one millimeter away. And you may see that I'm applying these with a slight gap in between them. And that's because I'm going to take a second layer of lashes and fill in those gaps. So that's my first layer. And then for the second layer, I'll take, this is another 12 millimeter here. So it's my middle size still. And I'm gonna take the glue and just apply it right onto mostly the spine, but a little bit up the lash as well. And then I'll stick it right in that gap area between the first lash and the second lash. And I also want to suggest that once you get it up there, don't play with it, just let it be. <laughs> okay, this is a 16 millimeter one, so this is my longest one. And I'm gonna put a little bit more glue, mostly on the spine, but going a little bit up the lash as well. And I'm gonna stick this right in between the middle section. And then the very last one is also a long one, a 16 millimeter one. And then I'll put this on the outside in between the very last one and the one right next to it. So 
there we go. It's that easy. And then just to fuse everything together and make sure that it all sticks really well, I have a fusing wand. This one is from Falscara. I think so, Falscara by Kiss. And I don't totally love it, but it works. So that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll do the other eye and I'll fast forward through this one just so you can kind of see the process once more. I have two extra products that I use to help increase the longevity of my DIY extension. So the first product that I love using is Lashify's Night Bond Sealer. And this product is basically like putting a strip of tape on the underside of your lashes just to hold everything there and make sure that it stays. Um, this is supposed to be extra helpful for like sleeping at night, especially if you're a side sleeper and you just take it and you brush it right on the very base of the spines and do that on both sides. So it almost looks like a eyeliner, but instead of putting it on the top, you're doing it underneath just to fuse everything together. So the last product that I'm gonna be using is called Glass. This is also a Lashify product. And so this is just another layer to help make it even more water resistant. So the steam from the shower, or even if I get water in my eyes, my lashes are not gonna melt off my face. They'll stay put unless I like really rubbed at them. So it's basically like a mascara wand and then it's got a fuzzy little tip on it that I just take to brush right along the spines. And I do not see a need to use the mascara wand to really like brush it through. I just go right on the spines and this seems to work really well for me. Thank you so much for joining. If you love this video, be sure to subscribe and share it with a friend. We also have our Sparkle and Shine group on Facebook where we will be digging into all things DIY lash extensions throughout the week. So be sure to click the link in the description to chime in on all the conversation. So thanks for joining and Winnie and I, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. You're a good girl. Silhouettes of you are like a taunt. Never really know just what you want.